Kingdom Come Deliverance. This absolute gem of a game is a story-driven, open-world medieval simulator that can be extremely satisfying to play if things are going your way, and very punishing if they are not. In this game you start off as an illiterate peasant who is broke, can't hold a sword correctly, or fight to save himself. However, you do have the ability to level up a range of different skills, so you can play as a valiant knight, a sneaky cutthroat, or even a silver-tongued merchant who avoids all conflicts, as well as many more different types of builds. Kingdom Come Deliverance takes place during a war in Bohemia in 1403. Most of the events that occur during this game are historically accurate. Today I'm going to be sharing 10 tips for beginners to give you a head start with your playthrough. If you enjoy video games, feel free to like and subscribe to see more content just like this. Tip number one, use the town Skellix to boost skills at the start of the game. The first town you start in is Skellix. This is a relatively safe area and a great place to level a range of skills such as stealth, lockpicking, herbalism, strength and some combat skills. To level herbalism, pick all the herbs in Skellix. When you reach level 10, select the perk Botanist. This increases the sell price of your herbs by 15%. Sell the herbs to merchants and always try and haggle with the price. Any groschens should be used to purchase Saviour Schnapps so you can save the game more frequently. You can level up your strength by fighting with Kanesh over and over. You will meet him during the quest Unexpected Visit. He can't be killed, he won't tell the guards and people don't seem to care if they see you fighting with him. If you knock him out go and do something else and come back later to fight with him again. Just start punching to initiate a fight with him. Punching horses and cows is another method, but don't let anyone see you as the guards will be called. There are two horses within the inner walls that can be punched, as long as you stealth KO the man shoveling the hay nearby. The more strength you have, the stronger your stealth KOs will be. To level up your stealth skill, find the man shoveling hay at the entrance to the inner walls. Stealth KO him and steal his food and groschens. Keep doing this as often as possible. There is one guard that walks past him every now and then, so just be mindful to only stealth KO him when the guard isn't around. Once you've leveled up your stealth and your strength enough, you can try more challenging targets. Just remember to save before trying to stealth KO guards. To level up lockpicking, once you've started the quest Unexpected Visit, speak to Kanesh about his debt, then sneak into Kanesh's house and go to his lock chest. Henry will mutter something about needing lockpicks, then go and visit Fritz and he'll give you four lockpicks. Use these lockpicks to open all the easy locks you can find, save before trying any hard locks. As soon as you can unlock the perks Lasting Locks and Luck of the Drunk, definitely do so. When you reach level 9, unlock the perk Silent Fiddler. This will counter the 30% noise increase from the perk Luck of the Drunk. Locks can relock over time, so you can keep doing this for as long as your lockpicks last and level up your lockpicking skill. This will also help level up your stealth skill. Tip number two, use the Miller Peshek to level pickpocketing. If you're doing a playthrough with a focus on pickpocketing and stealth, speak to Peshek at the mill in Rate. He'll teach you how to pickpocket by allowing you to try pickpocket his dagger from him. The great thing about this is you can do it over and over with no risk if he catches you. This will also level up your stealth skill. An added bonus is he also lets you practice lock picking on a lock chest, but you can only do this a handful of times. Tip number three, use Captain Bernard to improve combat related skills. After starting the main quest, Keep the Peace, you'll be able to train with Captain Bernard in Rate for free. The training area is located just outside the northernmost gate to Rate, and he's available to train during the day. Here you can max out your skills in Strength, Warfare, Agility, Defense and all the weapon skills if you wish. In the beginning you are going to get smashed but it's better to train here than die out in the wilderness from humans or bandits. Tip number 4. How to instant heal when training with Captain Bernard. I'll leave this up to you whether you think this is an exploit or a feature, but if you've been training with Captain Bernard for a while and you're getting quite low on health, you can simply surrender, speak to him and ask to learn combos. For some reason this will fully heal you so you can go back to training. This is especially handy when you train with real weapons instead of wooden weapons, and it'll save you a ton of time as you don't have to run away to go and heal yourself. Tip number 5. Use Marigold Potions to get extra groschens early on. The Marigold Potion is one of the easiest potions to make early on to gain XP and alchemy and give you some extra groschens. All you need is one nettle and two marigold. 
Nettle can be found all over Rattay and Marigold can be found between Rattay and Neuhof. Normally you would need to know how to read to make the potion, however if you just follow these instructions you'll be able to make the potion very early on. Step 1, pour water in the cauldron. Step 2, add one nettle to the cauldron. Step 3, boil for one turn of the sand glass. Step 4, allow to cool fully. Step 5, add two handfuls of marigold. And step 6, collect the potion. Make as many as you can, then sell off to merchants in Rattay. Tip number 6, learn to read as soon as possible. Reading is a very powerful skill that will allow you to gain XP in other skills just by reading the relevant books. If you follow these tips so far, you should have a high combat level and earn some Groshen to buy a decent weapon and a small amount of armor. You will need to travel to Ushits and speak to the scribe who will teach you how to read. However, there is a high chance you'll run into bandits on your way. When you feel ready, make the journey to Ushits. You can find this town north of Neuhof and east of Townberg. Tip number seven, save the game often. This may be obvious, but save the game as often as you can. This game can have no mercy when it comes to combat. You can be ambushed at any time by bandits or humans, and fighting three or more enemies can be suicide, especially when playing on hardcore. You can save the game by drinking Savior Schnapps, sleeping in a bed that you own, or by visiting a bathhouse and using their services. If playing on normal, autosaves occur when you start a quest. If playing on hardcore, all autosaves are disabled. Tip number eight, get a horse as soon as possible. Horses are great for carrying around all your extra gear, as well as escaping enemies, and just getting from A to B faster. You'll be given a free horse when you complete the main quest, The Prey, which involves Henry saving Sir Hans from Cumans. You can get a horse before this quest. If you have the Groshans, you can travel to Neuhof and buy a horse. However, the cheapest horse will be around 600 Groshen, depending on your reputation and speech skill. Tip number nine, leveling speech. There are a few different methods to leveling speech, such as passing speech checks, haggling with merchants, reading, or simply speaking to everyone you can. One method I like to use is to commit small petty crimes in a town I don't care about. Then when a guard catches up with me, I'll attempt to use speech to get out of it. Speech checks seem to be one of the biggest XP gainers for speech, and the great thing about this is you can do it over and over again until you max out your speech. Tip number 10. Keep combat simple and effective. It may be tempting to try pulling off a 3 or even a 4 hit combo with your longsword to finish off the opponent in style, and that may even work every now and then, but in reality, one dodge or one perfect block from your enemy and your combo chain is stopped, and when versing multiple opponents it's even more difficult. Instead, when starting out, focus on performing perfect blocks or a post, followed by a strike. Also, after you win a clinch, immediately attempt to strike. Most of the time these strikes will land. With multiple opponents, movement and defense is key. If you can constantly perform a repost, you can defeat multiple opponents without leaving yourself exposed to attacks. You can practice your repost with Captain Bernard in Rattay. Keeping combat simple may not look pretty, but it is far more effective in the early game. So I hope you found these tips helpful. If so, hit that subscribe button and feel free to like to see more content just like this. If you have any other tips that you want to share with myself or the other viewers, you can leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a good day.